We were sold a dummy. In this video, we'll discuss why the latest edition of Tarko is a scam, whether there's any pay to win, and why it's a massive speed in the face of everyone who has already bought this game. So get comfy and let's dive in. After shelling out around $100 to upgrade your EOD to the new subscription level, you're expecting to buy Tarkov 2. But in the end, you just get improved visuals and wow effect for the first 15 minutes. Why 15? Because that's all it takes to realize you've been scammed. This happens until missions start to break and can't be accepted. Searching for an offline raid takes 10 to 12 minutes. And then you are faced into so-called high-intelligence AI, which is supposed to mimic PMC activity on location but is actually just a scale in disguise. Statically hiding in bushes, standing in the open and sometimes even worse than a regular raider. The hysterical lauter starts when after a devastating victory over an enemy, you find out they have not looted anything at all, and all the items were found in raid. If I were to sum up PvE in two words, it's just boring and uninteresting. And most importantly, teaches the average player absolutely nothing. Ok, fine, the PvE content sucks. Even if 80% of the reason to choose this edition was because of it, let's pretend we weren't sold the raw product at a crazy high price and let's look for some pluses. We've got a fancy diamond nickname, nice menu design, and large pockets which could be useful, and an extremely necessary radio. Our insurance will return a bit faster and last a bit longer. Plus, we'll get access to ETS, where untested mechanics will be trialed. Which is a complete joke, considering they used to select people with actual game experience who could provide feedback. Now it seems that just about anyone can pay to participate. But let's get back to the radio, it performs two main functions. First, it offers a 50% discount on services in raid, and second, with a scare reputation about 6 bots over 60 meters won't attack here. The 50% discount. 99.5% of players will see its benefit only when they pay the taxi driver not 5000, but 2500. That's it. Beyond that, this discount won't be needed by 99.5% of players. And what about those remaining 0.5%? The hardcore players. Lightkeeper services will cost less. However, only in terms of money. That is, if you had to give up 3 folders and $1000, now you'll need to give up the same 3 folders but only $500. So, from the supposed 50% discount, we are getting a measly 5.2%. You know what else reinforces the feeling of a rip-off? The new cookery knife. Let's start with the fact that it apparently cost 6 bucks to buy and was sold to each of us at least 100 bucks. I'm not sure about this, but I'm sure of one thing. It's just a texture slapped on the regular but knife. Same attack animations, same swing sounds, same attack types, and most importantly, its damage still doesn't allow it to hit any target. The only new thing here is the inspection animation of this knife. So, what's playing on my favorite radio right now? Hmm, ooh. Hundreds of weapon builds, regions for farming, guides on any topic, you'll find on Patreon. Link in the description. While the video was being made, new info rolled in again. In recognition of our significant contributions to this game, they are giving us faster insurance return, a 20% increase in personal limits with traders. That means you can buy not 100 bullets, but 120. Increased karma, I assume, with fans. Access to unique crafting in hideout. Increased charisma skill, I don't know what could be more useless to add. Well, whatever. A special quest chain that allows improving PMC parkas as a reward. By the way, this point is decent. 
the ability to replace two operational tasks per day. Complete bullshit. A unique dark tag, it's unclear how, a unique armband, ok, a unique set of clothes. Likely, this set was created for donations, so we would buy it, and in the end they hand it to us as a gift. A unique legacy device. Nothing was said about it, so most likely it will be something similar to the same radio as for the new better edition. And has much making priority for EOD owners for 6 months. It's like a temporary VIP subscription, won't you match to be found not in 10 minutes, pay more. This is total bullshit. Access to offline PvE mode for EOD owners for 6 months. Damn, these are the same keys for 3 days for the arena. Just just for 6 months. So it turns out, people's asses are burning because they are being milked for money. And in honor of this incredible contribution, they give us time to think for 6 months whether we should really scam ourselves out of a ton of money. And if you don't scam yourself, you'll sit and wait for 10 minutes for a game search. This is fiasco, bro. <laughs> is this purchase paid to win? Yes? It doesn't give a serious advantage, but the essence of pay to win is either it gives that advantage or it doesn't. In our case, snipers won't bother us anymore. Imagine a scenario where you and someone who hasn't paid are on opposite sides of the barricade, and suddenly one of the bots starts shooting at you, forcing you to leave your position or simply feeding you information about you. Actually, this isn't a rare situation for Tarko players, and the fact that you can eliminate this from your gameplay just by paying definitely sounds like pay to win. Another contentious point in future editions is some kind of gimmick. A call for teammates to aid in a raid. It's unclear whether this is for PvP or PvE, as it's not specified. Most likely it's designed so people think it's an overpowered feature, giving them a significant advantage specifically in PvP and obviously enticing them to pay. But thinking logically, I find it hard to imagine how this mechanic could technically be implemented in the factory, where the player limit is only 6. Overall, it sounds too absurd. It would literally break the game. Imagine killing one clan player and then a whole squad pops out from under his arm. But if it's for PvE, then why the hell do you need this loud slap? To scare PMC bots? It's unclear. Why this edition a massive spit in the face of the community? Besides selling us an absolute dummy for insane money, which seems like the most blended way to make a profit, simply stepping over any moral boundaries, we end up with this situation. Guys who spent money earlier in the name of free DLCs over time only received a dead arena. And uh, somehow the PvE mode is not considered DLC, nor is the promised new area in the hideout. Overall, it turns out that the top edition is not so top anymore. And you need to pay yet another full game price. It would be acceptable if prior to this, people with the best edition received some regular content. Expansions, the same DLCs on a regular basis. Basis. Then maybe everyone would have settled for calling the PvE mode a unique mechanic. But as it stands, they are trying to sell us what has long been available for free at a triple price. If you get it, you get it. What could be changed? Well, first, make it so that the PvE version of the game can be purchased separately, as a separate project with its own differences and unique mechanics. Second, add a quest, completion of which any player would get loyalty from scaves beyond 60 meters. Third, similarly, for a quest from the Lightkeeper, give the opportunity to get the radio. It's mainly useful because of him anyway. I would say it would be nice to at least give a discount to EVD people on buying PvE. But there are only those who bought a full price, and that can't be done. Then, everything possible should be done to justify the price that people invested. Start with the visuals. Why not make at least a different pouch? Why do EOD owners with their unique pouch see it another edition? Why not give a unique appearance to the character, a unique voice? These are skins, and in other games, people pay separately for them. Why not add new music to the menu? And these are all just trivial things that should be taken for granted. Not inflating the price under the guise of 
Well, it is is being distributed here. I ask you to leave your comment with your suggestions for the developer. Believe me, they read it. I'm glad you watched until the end. See you in the next video. Good luck.